girl, Jamie, with Play to Learn Virtual Preschool. I am so glad that you're here. My fingers are crossed that all of the technology will work for us. While we wait for the boys and girls to log on and join us, we are going to sing Every Fight Clap with our friend, Miss Nancy. Now, because we're doing something a little bit different on the computer, and I can't play the video of Miss Nancy. We're just going to listen to the song, but you know how to do it, right? Because we've been doing it all week. So let's listen to Everybody Clap with Nancy Kopman, and we're going to sing and dance along. Here goes. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Good job clapping. Can you stomp your feet? Stomping. Coming back to do to a preschool with me, we are going to wake up the bird behind the easel today. So on the count of three, we'll use one, two, three. We'll say, Betsy, where are you? Are you ready? Here it goes. One, two, three. Betsy, where are you? Wait a minute. What? Betsy? Where are you? Where's Betsy? Is she back there? Uh oh. This does not look like Betsy's tail. These do not look like Betsy's wings. Who is this? This is not Betsy. Oh! This is Betsy's cousin. Bailey the penguin. Can you say hi, Bailey the penguin? Bailey, where's Betsy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Betsy went out for a flight She's back in the forest behind my house, flying around looking for bird seed. So Bailey came to visit us from Antarctica just for today. Can you guys say hello, Bailey? Bailey, we always start by singing hello to the boys and girls. Will you help me do that? Okay, we are going to sing hello to you, and then you can sing hello to us. Does that sound good? Hello, friends. How are you? Can you sing hello, Bailey? Hello, Bailey. How are you? And we we'll sing hello, Miss Jamie. Hello, Miss Jamie. How are you? We're so glad to see you here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, we're all here together. Yay! Now, Bailey, usually I set Betsy down. Is that okay? Yes. Bailey's going to sit down so we can learn about a new habitat. I wonder if you can guess what it is from seeing Bailey and seeing the blue up on the board. Can you guess which habitat we're going to learn about today? All right, Bailey, will you come back again at the end? All right, let me set Bailey down right here. 
Well, boys and girls, all week we've been learning about different animal habits. We talked about the elephants and the rafts on the savanna. We learned about the alligators and the monkeys and the sloths that live in the jungle. And today we're going to learn about a different habitat. This is my globe. It's like a picture of the earth, of the world where we live. You might be able to find where you live. I sort of live right there, up there in Virginia. This blue part is the water and the colorful part of the land. The habitat that we're going to learn about today is the one that's way up at the tippy top of the earth. And tilt it down so you can see it. Way up here at the North Pole. Have you ever heard of the North Pole? Do you know anyone who lives up at the North Pole? It's very cold, snowy up at the North Pole. And it's way up here at the tippy top of Earth. We're also going to talk about the animals that live at the way bottom of the Earth. This is the South Pole. You can see all of the white part is the ice and snow around Antarctica. The South Pole and the North Pole are the very top and bottom of the Earth. And it's very cold and icy and freezing there. The kinds of animals that like cold and snow and freezing weather are these. Yes, these are polar bears. And the polar bears live way up in the very top of the earth near the North Pole. Do you see those polar bears? And the type of animals that live way down at the bottom are these. Penguins. This one is an emperor penguin. And this one is a chinstrap penguin. They like to live down by the South Pole at the very bottom of the Earth. This habitat is called the Polar Region. Can you say Polar Region? Yes. We're going to sing a song about a penguin who lives in the Polar Region. It goes like this. There was a penguin in the snow. And Pablo is his name-o. This is how we spell Pablo. P-A-E-L-O. P-A-E-L-O. P-A-B-L-O. And Pablo is his name-o. I cover up one of the letters with a penguin. Watch. And this time, instead of saying P, we're going to snap. Or if you don't know how to snap, you could clap again. Ready? There was a penguin in the snow, and Pablo was his name-o. A-B-L-O. 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 And Pablo is his name-o. Let's cover up the next letter. We're going to cover the letter A. Now there are two snaps. B L O. Ready? There was a penguin in the snow, and Pablo is his name O. B L O. B L O. B L O. And Pablo is his name O. Let's cover up another letter. <gasps> Goodbye, B. This time we're going to go click, click, L-O, or clap, 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 L-O. Ready? There was a penguin in the snow, and Pablo is his name, O. L-O, 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 and Pablo is his name, O. Let's cover up another letter. We'll cover up the L. Now we're going to sing four snaps or four claps and the letter O. Will you please sing it with me? It goes, there was a penguin.
in, in the snow and Pablo is his name. Oh. 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 Oh, and Pablo is his name. Oh. Time to cover up the last letter. There we go. Now we have five penguins. So you can either snap five times or, or clap five times. Ready? There was a penguin in the snow, and Pablo is his name. Oh. And Pablo is his name. Oh. Isn't that silly? It's kind of like bingo with penguins. The penguins all live down on the South Pole, way at the very bottom of the Earth. They will never see a polar bear because they live in different places. So now we're going to play a little game with a penguin who is fishing. Penguins like to eat fish, not birds. And this friendly fish is swimming around the South Pole. I think he might get caught on the penguin fishing pole. This um, word that up here is called polar. That's the name of the habitat. And it's spelled like this. P-O-L-A-R. Polar. That's the name of the habitat that we're doing today. P-O-L-A-R. And we're going to hide the friend fish behind one of the penguins and you can try to find him really loud so that I hear you all the way here in Virginia. Ready? Friendly fish is swimming near the polar, near the polar playground. One penguin caught it where it be found. The friendly fish is swimming near the polar playground. One penguin caught it. Where will it be found? Where is it? Where is the friendly fish? Is it under the P O L A or R? Can you tell me really loud who you think he might be? Let me hear you. Let's see, you think he's under the P for penguin and polar? <gasps> P was a good guess, but it wasn't there. Where could the friendly fish be? Hmm, tell me really loud so I can hear you. Where do you think the friendly fish is hiding? <gasps> you think under the O? Let's check and see. Nope, it wasn't under the O. Oh, but I like the way that you're guessing. Where could that friendly fish be? Hmm, friendly fish, where are you? Tell me really loud. Where do you think the friendly fish is? You think under the first letter A? Let's see. You found him. You're right. The fish was under the letter A. We have to let him go so we can find Again, turn over the O, no P. Should we hide the fish again and see if you can find him? Okay, let's see. Ready? Friend is hot. Friend swimming near the polar playground. One penguin caught him. Where will he be found? Where will it be found? All right, tell them all. Yes, and we'll look behind the penguins to try to find him. Let's see, Jeremiah thinks it's under the L. Should we try the L? Oh, I hear you, Matthew and Jessica and Jacob and Devin. I can hear your guesses. Let's check. You found him on the very first try. You were right. It was under the L. It already on the very first try. Well, that was quick. That's enough time. But one more time. Friendly fish swimming near the polar playground. 
my penguin bought it, where will it be found? Tell me really loud, where do you think the friendly fish is hiding? Which letter is the fish hiding under? What do you think? What do you think it is? You think, oh, I hear Sarah and Emmy yelling, oh, I hear you all yelling, oh, let's try it, Elijah, ready? <gasps> nope, but that was a really good guess. I like the way you're thinking. Tell me where you think the fish is hiding. You think under the A? Okay, Audrey and I hear you. Emerson, I hear you. We can check the A. No, not under the A, but you did a really good job. Good guess, Clayton. That was good, but it's not where it was this time. Where is the fish? It wasn't under the O. It wasn't under the A. Where could it be? Hmm, tell me what the guess is. Grayson and Scarlett both think the letter L. Matthew still thinks R. All right, L first. Ready? Nope. Not under the L, but oh, that was a good guess, Cooper. But it was under the L. I like the way you're guessing. It's either the P or the R. Where could that friendly fish be? Where is it? Either the P or the R. Tell me really loud which one you think it is. Okay, I hear you, Avery and Grayson and Nora. I can hear you shouting. We can try the R. Ready? You found it! The polar bear with the R. The polar fish was behind the penguin with the R. Oh boy, good job with finding the fish behind the R. Not polar. Oh boy, today is one of those crazy days. Have you ever had one of those crazy That's the kind of day that I'm having. We're going to read one of my favorite books, though. When you're having a crazy day or a silly day like I'm having, where it seems to be going right, reading a book is always the right choice. So the book I'm going to read to you is one of my favorites. It's called Polar Opposites. This is a book about a great big polar bear named Alex who lives up in North Pole and a little penguin named Zena who lives at South Pole and Alex and Zena are pen pals. They like to write each other letters but never met because they live in opposite places on the globe until one day they make a plan to get together. Let's read this book. The author illustrator is Eric. It's called Polar Opposite. Alex way up there at the North Pole and Zena way down at the bottom in the South Pole. They're so far apart on Earth. There's Alex delivering a letter to the mail bird. And there's Zena delivering a letter to the mail bird. And let's see if they can make land. Alex is a big polar bear. Zena is a tiny penguin. Alex and Zena are polar opposites. They live on opposite sides of the world. See? North Pole, South Pole. Alex lives in the Arctic. Zena lives in the Antarctic. Like mostly white with some black. Z is mostly black with some white. Alex is shaggy. Zena is smooth. Polar opposites are different in so many ways. And in this picture, you can see all the ways that they're different. See, Alex has a cell phone, and Zena is using an old fashioned phone. And Alex has a computer and a printer, and Zena has a paper map. Alex likes to watch TV, and Zena likes to read books. Alex 
sort of messy and sits up late. And Zena is neat and goes to bed right on time. Do you see how they are opposites? Alex gets up late. Zena rises early. Alex likes sad things. Zena likes sweet things. Alex is messy. Zena is neat. Alex is loud. Zena is quiet. Alex's favorite clothes are bright. Zena's favorites are not. Do you see how she wears all gray and black? And Alex's are really bright colors. Alex pushes. Zena pulls. Alex travels fast. You see him getting on that jet plane? Zena takes it slow. She's boarding a ship. Alex and Zena are very different, but even polar opposites can always be in the middle. Look, they decide to meet right here on the Galapagos Islands, have a little vacation together. To do that, they met right in the middle Galapagos Islands. And here are some pictures from their vacation together. Alex and Zena, polar opposites. And then they end. See you next year. Isn't that fun? They're opposites, but they can still get together for a vacation in the middle. The word polar bear and the word Penguin both start with the same letter. Listen for it. P penguin, P polar bear. Parker, I you know what letter it starts with. Penguin, polar bear. And so your project after virtual school today is to see if you can find some things around your house that start with the same letter as penguin and polar bear. I found a few things that start with P, like penguin and polar bear. Would you like, like to see them? Okay, let's see if I can take out some of the things that with P, like penguin and polar bear. Are you ready? Here it goes. What is that? It's a little pig. Pig starts with a P. It's like penguin. And polar bear. They start with a listen. Penguin, pig, polar bear. Well done. Let's see what else is in here. Mm. What is this? Your lunch on it. It's a plate. Plate is a P, just like penguin, pig, and polar bear. What else starts with the letter P? This would be good for lunch. It's a pear. Pear starts with a P, just like penguin and polar bear. What else is in here? Oh, this is something heavy. It's a panda. Panda starts with a P, just penguin, pig, and polar bear. And panda. What else could be in this bag? Pink paint. Pink paint starts with a P, just like penguin and polar bear. Ooh. Do you know? You might cut it up and have it on your side. It's a pepper. Yes, pepper starts with the letter P, just like penguin and polar bear. And there's one more thing in the bag. It's a pencil. I think you might be able to find lots around your house that also start with the letter P. So this is your home project to look around your house and see if you can find things that start with P like penguin and polar bear. Do you think you can do that? I would love to see a picture of all the P's.
that you find at your house. Polar bear. It is time for us to call Bailey the pain back. Not Betsy today. Remember, she's out flying around. On the count of three, will you say, Bailey, come back? Do you think you can do that? Okay, here goes. One, two, three. Say, Bailey, come back. Bailey, where are you? Here's Bailey the pain. And hi friends! I loved hearing about the polar animals today. It's cold where you come from, right Bailey? There's lots of snow? Mm-hmm. And what is your favorite thing to eat? What would you like the girls to throw for you? Oh, not birdseed? Mm-hmm. Bailey likes fish. Do you have any fish in your pocket? Maybe some goldfish? Or some big fish? And you throw them to Bailey after we sing goodbye? She really eats bird seeds. She mostly eats fish. Do you have a fish in your pocket? Oh, good. Let's sing good one, and then you can then you can throw her some fish. Ready? Pre meal time is over now. Over now. Over now. Preschool time is over now. For another day. Can you wave by Bailey? Wave goodbye to all of our friends. All of our friends. All of our friends wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip hip hooray! Good job. Reach down your pocket. Do you have any fish in your pocket? Oh, I hope so. Parents, make sure, grown ups, make sure that you print your enrichment play. There's a link in the video description and six enrichment ideas for you to explain the learning at home and four printable pages. So if your little one is four, five, six years old, these would be really good um, to practice letters and numbers and fine motor skills. Okay, how many fish do you have in your pocket? A lot? On the count of three, throw them this way and Bailey try to catch them. Ready? One, two, three. Here goes. Ah! Oh, oh lots of fish. Goldfish. Mahi, mahi. Tuna fish. Whoa, look at all those fish. Whoa, whoa, salmon fish. Thank you for all the fish, everyone. Now, Bailey is going to blow you a kiss. If you'd like to catch it, put your hand out like this. One, two, three. Mwah. Catch it. It's a little penguin kiss. Take it right here. Put it so it stays all day and give yourself a big hug, Miss Jamie and Bailey. I think Betsy will be back tomorrow, and we will see you then. Bye, friends. Bye-bye.